Hey guys, welcome to the 40-second C-sharp tutorial that I'm making for the new Boston. And in this tutorial, we're going to be looking at the binary reader still. And in the last tutorial, we left off with it reading the bytes in the wrong order. So instead of it getting 1, let me write an N16 right here, it was getting 100. So it was reading this byte and then this byte. Well, there's no real way to change what order it reads the bytes in. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to reverse it after it reads it. So what we're going to do right here is we're just going to create a byte array for it to read um, for it to read the value into. So we're just going to call this buffer, and then we're going to set it equal to um, what the reader gets. And we're going to do read bytes right here, and we're going to read two bytes since we want to get an int 16 out of it, or a two or two bytes, which is an int 16. So we're just going to read two bytes there. So now this buffer will have two bytes inside, or this byte array will have two bytes inside of it. However, doing the read bytes method, it'll still read it the wrong way. It'll still read this byte and then this byte. So what we're going to have to do is reverse this array, or yeah, just reverse the array. So in order to do that, we're just going to do array, use the array class, and then do dot reverse. And this will reverse the array. So we just put an array inside of here. So this byte array buffer and basically it will just reverse the entire array so now instead of the values being 0 1 0 it'll be 0 0 1 so it just reverses the entire array and finally we need to get um, an in 16 out of it or a 2 byte integer so in order to do that we're going to do um, well first of all we're going to have it do text box once text and in order to do that, we're just going to do the, use the bit converter class, which we'll get to later. We're going to use this a little bit more. And we can do dot two int sixteen, and this will convert on um, the byte array into an int sixteen. So we just put the byte array in there, which is buffer, and then following this, it calls for a start index, meaning the element in the array that it will start reading from, or start making it into um, an int sixteen. And since there's only two um, elements inside of this array, we're just going to start at zero. But if you had like an array with like, let's say 40 elements, and you wanted to start at like the 30th element, then you could do that. You just put 30 right there. And since this is a text box, it has to be represented as a string. So we're just going to do dot two string, and we're going to make it be an hexadecimal. So now when we click the read button, instead of it just um, getting uh, one zero zero we should get zero or we should just get one yep that's exactly what we wanted so let's just go over our code again just so you completely understand it so first off it sets the position of the binary reader to one e and that's exactly where we want it to be one e and since we're reading um, for an int 16 or a short we're going to read these two bytes right here so we need to start right there but, however, when it reads these, it reads it in the wrong order. It reads this byte and then this byte. So what we had to do is we had to reverse this entire array. And it reads those bytes into this uh, byte array right here. So then we reverse that byte array that we read it into. And then we use this bit converter class to convert it into an int 16 or a short. And then we just do dot two string to uh, convert it into a string so it can be displayed in the message box. Or I mean in the text box. Now, if you wanted to, let's say, read an int32, well, then all we'd have to do up here is change this to 4 bytes, since an int32 is 4 bytes long, and we just change this dot to int32, and then it will convert it into an int32. So let's say we want to have it read, we'll just have it read from here, we'll just have it read all these bytes, and it'll be an int32. So the offset is 11, or, well, it's actually 1, 1. So do 1, 1 right there for the position, we read the four bytes, and then convert it into an uh, int32, and let's read this text file right here, click read, and those are the exact bytes that we wanted. See if we go right here, we see 64, yep, 61, it's the next one, 6D, yes, and 2E. And that's displaying it in hexadecimal. If you wanted to display it in just decimal, then you would do, oops, you do, yeah, you still do dot two string, you just wouldn't have the uh, X inside of there. So now it will be an entire number. 
And the difference here between reading it just the bytes and then having it display those in the message box or in the text box is if we were to um, have it be converted into decimal, then it would convert each byte into decimal and not convert the entire number. It wouldn't treat it this as an entire number. It would treat each byte as an individual. So, and we're going to want it to be an uh, entire number. So, we're going to look at a little bit more at this bit converter class. And this bit converter class is very useful. For example, say we wanted to um, turn uh, a number into um, a, by a byte array. So in order to do that, we can use the get bytes method, and then we just type um, a number inside of here. So if we wanted to get bytes out of that, then we could do that, and we could set our byte array equal to that. So now it gets the bytes out of this uh, number right here and converts it into a byte array. And we'll be looking at that a little bit later in the next tutorial when we're going to be writing information. So that's pretty much all there is to um, reading integers using the binary reader class. So see you guys.